In this presentation, we are going to discuss problem number 5 on basics of control systems. So, let's get started. A first order process has a static gain of 1, a time constant of 1 second and a transportation delay of 0.1 second. Find its transfer function. In this problem, we are given a first order process that is a first order system which is having a static gain that is the DC gain of 1.0, a time constant of 1 second and a transportation delay of 0.1 second and we need to find out its transfer function. So till now we have already discussed the static gain that is the DC gain of a system. We have already discussed time constant of a system but now we have a new term which is transportation delay. So firstly we will understand what is a transportation delay in a system. Transportation delay is the time that elapses between the application of input to the system and the generation of output from the system. So we can say that the transportation delay is the time taken by the system in order to generate the output. It is similar to the propagation delay we study in digital circuits like flip-flops and counters. Now suppose we are having a system having gain k and if we provide the input xt to this system then definitely we will have an output. Now consider a situation that this system is having a delay td. Then in that case this system will take td amount of time in order to generate the output. That is. If input xt is given at t equal to 0, then we will have the output at t equal to td seconds. And that's why we can write the output yt equal to k multiplied with x of t minus td. The system gain is multiplied with the input and it is generated after td seconds. Now if we take the Laplace transform, then by time shifting property, we will have ys equal to k multiplied with xs multiplied with e to the power minus tds. We know that shifting in time domain is the multiplication of an exponential function in the frequency domain. Now if we transpose xs, which is the Laplace transform of input to the left hand side, we will have ys over xs which is the transfer function equal to k multiplied with e to the power minus tds. This is the transfer function of this system. So from now onwards we can note that if exponential term is present in the transfer function of a system then it represents the transportation delay. In this way we are done with the discussion on transportation delay. We will now move on to the solution of our problem. Let us consider a first order system having a transfer function k over 1 plus s tau. This is the general form of transfer function of a first order system where k is the static gain that is the DC gain and tau is the time constant. If td is the transportation delay of this system then we can say the transfer function of this system is equal to k over 1 plus s tau multiplied with e power minus tds. We have already discussed if transportation delay is present then e power minus tds is multiplied in the transfer function. So this is the transfer function of a first order system having a transportation delay of td seconds where k is the dc gain, tau is the time constant and td is the transportation delay. Now in the problem we are having the static gain 1, the time constant of 1 seconds and the transportation delay 0.1 seconds. If we substitute all these values in this expression we will have the transfer function ts equal to 1 multiplied with e power minus 0.1s over 1 plus s. We can see that the static gain is equal to 1, the transportation delay is equal to 0.1 seconds and the time constant is equal to 1 second. So this is the transfer function of this first order process. And in this way we are done with this lecture. Thank you for watching this lecture. I'll end this one here. See you in the next lecture.